the media is making big headlines with the claim that Hong Kong has the world's highest COVID fatality rate. This has caused dismay among some readers and rejoicing among others. The real story is rather different. First, that title jumps around day by day and the media could have picked any date over the past two years and highlighted any place as having the world's highest fatality rate on that date. But they didn't. They saved it up just for us. Okay. Second, what they're really doing is rather absurdly comparing the beginning climb of Hong Kong's bell curve with the flat parts of other countries' data. Um, you know, science doesn't work that way. If you're comparing bell curves, you compare bell curves. In truth, Hong Kong successfully fought off a major COVID wave for an incredible two years, delaying the onset of our bell curve. So they are actually using Hong Kong people's achievement against us. Thank you, Bloomberg. Now, to be fair to the media, Hong Kong's rate of deaths of 17 to 30 daily deaths per million is high. But remember when Peru had similarly high numbers for months? And so did Hungary and Bosnia with daily numbers over 50, sometimes over 60. But you know, the, the main issue is this, by omitting the rather salient fact that Hong Kong so far has been remarkably successful in the pandemic fight, readers are left with entirely the wrong impression. So here is a cumulative chart which tells a different story. See that gap? Hong Kong people have done really well in fighting against the pandemic. And I, for one, am proud of this little community. Rock on Hong Kong. Kai out.